my channel and if you're new, hey what's up? My name is Tanya and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video. As always, there will be timestamps listed down below so you can jump around and if you like what you see, smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and thumbs this video up. I do try to post seven days a week, sometimes a couple of times a day, you just never know. So having that notification bell on really goes a long way, especially the way YouTube is being. And you just don't want to miss out on all the fun, new content, new releases. This eye is running. We haven't had this issue in a long time, but today my eye is not happy with me. <sighs> Needs to reel it in and stop. Like this one's all smoked out and it's like maintaining itself. This one is just a disaster. Now this video shout out goes to Leah Anderson. Leah, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my very long video and for leaving a comment, for hitting that subscribe button. It means so much to me. I love when new fawns join, when everybody comments and interacts. It just means so much. So thank you very much for joining in and I hope that you pick up that brush set because it really is so incredible. I need to feature it in a video still. I didn't have a chance today because I was testing out so many products and I did the Dose of Colors launch and that was a really hefty video to film and open up 20 individual shadows and swatch them because I have nails and all those individual compacts were trying my nails. And so I will be dedicating a video to that brush set because it is so beautiful. But I mean, I think you're gonna be good to go with getting it because the quality is unbelievable believable, especially in comparison to prior brush sets from them. So I think you'd be golden. So welcome to the Fawn fam, Fawn squad, Fawn community. I hope you stick around and remain active and just thank you for commenting and watching my content. It really means a lot. Now this video is actually on two highlights. I initially planned on making the new Jouer Celestial highlight, the focus of the video, but this was just like pink. Oh, this eyeball. It was like it, it's really pretty and if you like like straight up pink then you'll love this but it was just I needed to tie in something else and I didn't want to highlight like pink down my nose inner corners under my brow bone on my cupid's bow because it wasn't like pink with different shifts it is like straight up pink and it is really pretty I think that this would be beautiful as a blush topper too not like just straight up highlight but maybe like mixing it in with a blush a little bit I think it would be beautiful that way but I do swatch this out and it is just pink and luminous and bam in your face so once I put that on I did need something else because just having pink was not enough with this eye look so I've had the cover FX gold bar highlighting palette since day one and I think this dropped like in February and I just haven't gotten around to filming it and I don't know why. And this is beautiful. I won't get into reading you guys everything with the what they are about because I do that with the unboxing. But I did use this one for the spotlight to just break up like the pink and bring a little extra dimension to the highlight. And then I used it down my nose, Cupid's bow, under my brow bone, in the corner of my eyes. And this is stunning. Did I open up Jouer? I don't even know if I opened up Jouer. This looks like it's not gonna be bam pink, but it's bam pink. And you do get a mirror, it's a nice little compact, and it is a beautiful formula. It just goes, melts into the skin. <laughs> It's not powdery, it's not, like, it doesn't sit on the skin funny. Jouer makes some really beautiful highlights, but for me, I did need to mix other highlights with it. So, 
This Cover FX one is also beautiful, nice mirror, three beautiful size compacts. I swatch out all three. For fair skin, this one would actually be beautiful as a radiant blush or a little blush topper. It is gorgeous. And then these two shades are stunning. I meant to uh, play with the gold shade on my collarbone while I was highlighting with the middle shade on my cheek and everywhere else and I forgot but I will be using this in another tutorial because the swatch is gorgeous. The only thing with this palette is you do need to scratch off the top layer or you're not going to get that intensity out of the highlight. It does have like a coating or something on it and it seems like you're going in really hard with your brush but you don't at first it's like there's nothing there so you have to really scratch off that top layer and then all of a sudden it's like ah, glow and then you get this beautiful radiant like in your face blind the haters glow so I love this palette you just need to get beyond that layer and then bam and this is just I mean gold bar yes and it's very heavy duty like this is not going to break on you at all and like this is gorgeous so I used white gold you get rose gold 24k gold and the white gold so white gold is what I use to spotlight so I highly recommend the cover FX the Jouer is really going to be preferential because it is just pink so whether or not you want that kind of a glow, but I am about to demo it for you guys so you can see it in action. So if you wanna see all of this goodness, then just keep on watching. All right, I have the new Jouer highlighter. This is like a fancy pants packaging and I love it. It is so reflective and cool. Now this is the only thing I did pick up from the new launch. I did not grab the bronzers. I am on bronzer overload and I didn't pick up makeup bags because I really have a ton of makeup bags. It takes something really, really like eye-catchingly beautiful and at this point like glittery and over the top to grab me because I have a bunch of really big practical makeup bags and I know Christy you want a video on my makeup bag and how I pack it and I will do it the next time I do have to pack to go out of town with makeup I just haven't had to do that since you requested the video and uh, when I went to St. Lucia, I brought no makeup. I decided that that was going to be a very relaxed, chill, makeup-free vacation, so I didn't even pack mascara. But I will be doing that video for you the next time I do go on vacation. But I did grab the highlighter because I had to get the highlight. So this is the powder highlighting highlighter in Celestial, and it says it's an ultra Ultra fine pearls and luminescent pigments create the ultimate lit from within glow. This creamy powder formula is long wearing, highly pigmented, and layers with our best selling cream highlighter for the perfect radiant finish. Use a brush, apply to cheek and brow bones to instantly illuminate. Long wear, paraben free, gluten free, dermatologist tested and Jouer is um, a cruelty free brand as well. So let's get into this. I got fingerprints on it already. Go figure. All is packaging. So okay it's just silver because it's just going to be reflective and on the back it just says Celestial PH Celestial powder highlighter. Whoa. That looks so pretty and pink. <gasps> ah! Do I have any? No, I don't have anything in the back of my hand. Oh, wow, she's pink and glowy. Hello. All right, she feels really pretty too. It's really silky, like silky smooth. So I'm going to start with my, I need to get comfortable. I'm always like randomly deciding that I need to cross my legs, uncross my legs. They're always going numb because I sit here for hours and hours and hours when I'm filming, so excuse that. By taking my Ray Morris Deluxe Kabuki brush number one, we're gonna swirl her around. I am gonna tap it off, that seemed a little, 
No, not powdery. All right, here we go. Whoa! Oh, look at that glow. And that's like instantly becoming one with the skin. I think this would be a beautiful blush topper. Yeah, because this is so pink. I don't even know if the camera's going to be able to pick up just how pink this is. But it's not a highlight that I want to put, like, on my nose in Cupid's bow. Like, this is pink. It's beautiful. But I definitely need, like, a little bit more than just... This, so I don't even really want to spotlight with pink. Let me see if I have another highlighter that I can incorporate in this video to kind of mix and match with the look I have going on, plus this. So hold on one second. All right, I also have this Cover FX Gold Bar Highlighting Palette. I have, I've had this for what feels like months now because I bought it the day it launched at Ulta which I really think was like in February. <laughs> I don't know, it's been so long. Uh, so this was an Ulta exclusive, you couldn't get it from Sephora. So this has three highlighting powders, glide onto the skin for a shimmering luminous finish. Wear individually or layer each shade, 24K white and rose gold, together for a more high impact look, creating a perfectly unique to you highlight. Clinically tested paraben fragrance, gluten, mineral oil, and talc free, and it's vegan. And um, Cover FX is also a cruelty free brand. I was trying to make sure that everything I grabbed was like cruelty free, cruelty free. So here's what she looks like. This is really pretty, really sleek. There's no packaging. That's what it looks like. Let me make sure there's nothing left. Okay, we'll swatch all three of these, starting with this baby. Okay, let me just get them all on. <laughs> Thinking the middle shade will be maybe what I'll use to, yeah, definitely try to, ooh, even that, wow, that other shade, the last shade that seems like it's going to be very, very deep, whoa, I almost just dropped it, is actually not that deep. I mean, it's deep. For me, it would be a very glowy blush. But I could totally wear that as a blush. Anybody who is fair skinned could wear that as a blush. If you're into a glowy blush. But there's the middle shade. And then the golden shade. That gold, oh my gosh, I want to test that out so badly. But I do not have a gold look going. My eyelashes are like glued together. So we are gonna play with the middle shade and then I wanna try the gold shade out on my collarbone just because that looks way too pretty. But I actually do wanna take the middle shade on my Ray Morris and just kinda of put a light wash over this pink. Even though this is also kinda of pink, that's not doing anything. Okay, I'm gonna just start with this one individually before I'm mixing it to see what kind of an impact. Oh, did I clean this brush? I did not. Shoot. I am a mess. <laughs> Hold up one second.
I will say this palette is giving a beautiful highlight, but holy cow, do you need to build and build and build. Holy. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Sigma strobing fan F42 and try to strobe with this. If I can pick it up. There's definitely a layer that needs to be scratched off, but even after you get that layer off, this is like really hard to pick up product. You have to really go in ham. Like you feel like you're damaging the palette, but you have to like really scrape off that top layer to get to powder to get to the highlighter and then it's beautiful. See now look at that. Yeah, I definitely could not have left my face with just that pink. It wasn't like highlighty, glowy enough for me. But with adding this in here, it's really pretty. And here's the final glow and it's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, I love highlight. And then for my setting spray combo, I set everything down with Fix Plus. I went over it with my Ciate London Dewy Spritz. And then I put a new spray to the test. It just came in from Sephora. It's the Eve Long, Long, Long Radiance Face Mist. This is beautiful. The mist on this is awesome. And it's infused. Uh, it's a Radiance Face Mist, infused skin with an energizing, high-powered moisture mist enriched with hydration-boosting actives and antioxidants, protects, uh, protecting skin from atmospheric exposure, resulting in a radiant and healthy-looking complexion. Mist over entire face and neck after skincare routine or over makeup at any time throughout the day. And the ingredients are amazing. It starts with aqua and then there is a rosa flower water. There's no alcohol. It has seawater. There is um, some seed extracts, magnesium, zinc, flower oil, copper, um, hydrolyzed something extract, but the copper, like copper is such a great anti-aging ingredient to have in skincare. So this is beautiful. And it says that skin moisture levels are increased immediately by 80% and skin remains hydrated for up to 48 hours after use. This is, and it has a antioxidants and skin firming ingredients in it as well. So this is, like look at this mist. I don't wanna waste it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh my God, I just got it all over my mirror. I do that every, all the time, all the time. I never learn. So that is everything. This is just so pretty and I am obsessed with everything. So that is it for this video. Please thumbs it up if you liked it. Please share it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, good night, good morning, wherever you are. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.